हेलो एवरीवन इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अ प्रॉब्लम दैट इज रिलेटेड टू फाइंडिंग कोवेरियन डेरिवेटिव एंड द प्रॉब्लम इज वर्क आउट द कोवेरियन डेरिवेटिव ऑफ द टेंसर टी ए बी विद कंपोनेंट्स दैट आर गिवन बाय दिस वन हेयर एक्स वन इज इक्वल टू आर एक्स टू इज इक्वल टू थीटा एंड एक्स थ्री इज इक्वल टू फाइव बिकॉज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द स्फेरिकल पोलर कोआर्डिनेट्स एंड द वेरिएशन ऑफ ए बी एंड सी विल बी वन टू एंड थ्री बिकॉज वी हैव अ थ्री डायमेंशनल स्पेस एंड देर विल बी टोटल ऑफ ट्वेंटी सेवन कंपोनेंट्स फॉर द गिवन कोवेरियंट डेरीवेटिव ऑफ द गिवन टेंसर एंड द एसोसिएटेड मिट्रिक टेंसर इज गिवन बाई दिस वन दिस इज दैट इज इन स्फेरिकल पोलर कोआर्डिनेट्स Now, students, if we find the known zero Christoffel symbols for the given metric tensor in the previous lecture, I have also shown that how we can find the Christoffel symbol. So you can check out my that video. And the known zero Christoffel symbols are given by this one that I have already calculated. Now, students, the formula for finding covariant derivative of T A B is given by this one. Here x represents a dummy index and the value of x will be for 1 2 and 3 and we can write it in a sum over form Now students first of all we will find the value of t11 means the covariant derivative of t11 with respect to 1 and that is equal to t11 comma 1 here comma represent partial derivative and this semicolon represents the covariant derivative and plus these values and the dummy index as it is now students we know that there is no christoffel symbol means the christoffel symbols that involve uh, one in the contravariant form and one one in the covariant form are equal to 0 so these two values will vanish and one means x1 here i have shown you that this one is actually r so One means partial by partial r and t one one is our first value that is given by this one means the first value is actually t one one this is t one two this is t one three and similarly uh, t two one t two two t two three and up to so on. So if we take its partial derivative with respect to r, then we will get cos of theta. In a similar manner, we can find the value t two one one. means the partial derivative of t21 with respect to 1 and t21 is a value of this one this is a value t21 this is t11 t12 t13 and this is t31 and up to so on all the values okay so we will get this one this is actually the value of t21 and 1 represent partial by partial r plus a uh, students There is no Christoffel symbol. There is no non-zero Christoffel symbol that involve one one. So this value will vanish. And here I can substitute the values of a dummy variable. First of all, I will substitute one plus two plus three. Okay, we we can write it in a sum over form. Now we can easily see that it involves no R. So the partial derivative with respect to R will vanish, and that is equal to zero. and similarly if we check out the christoffel symbol then the on, only non zero christoffel symbol is this one and if i substitute the its value then it is equal to 1 by r and t21 is equal to sin theta cos theta so i will get t21 uh, covariant derivative with respect to 1 is equal to this one in a similar manner t13 semicolon 2 means the uh, covariant derivative of t13 with respect to 2 here students 2 represents theta okay and 1 3 is the value this one that is equal to ar so i will get over here partial by partial theta into ar and if we substitute the value of our dummy index 2 then we will get this one and after substituting all the values and the non zero christoffel symbols we will get this one and in a similar way t33 now students here you can easily see that the value of t33 is this one that is equal to 0 and if we take its partial derivative with respect to t that is equal to 5 then we will get this one and after substituting non zero christoffel symbols we will get this one you know that non zero christoffel symbols are given by this one okay now in a similar way the other covariant derivatives are given by this one and they will be total of 27 values okay that are given by this one that i i have mentioned over here 
like these ones also these ones now students i have left it a, as an exercise for you you can check all these uh, covariant derivatives of a given tensor and uh, i have shown few because